Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Ask Libra Revision, which is apparently like a solo project platformer action JRPG that like one guy made over a ridiculous amount of time, at least as far as I know. Uh, it's a little murky because I'm, I'm pretty sure they're a Japanese developer. I don't know. I'm unfortunately not great at foreign languages, but either way, it's like one of those extraordinarily unique passion project games that's been in development forever potentially has a sequel on the way and is actually like one of the stealth uh indie gems of this year like i don't think a lot of people are going to be talking about this one but it's that good it was it blew me away to the point where i actually had to play for like three hours i'm gonna cut it down so it's less than that but uh it's a good one i should also note that the pacing in the beginning is a little rough so uh it's, i can't read this and uh we're gonna skip some things just to get to the good bits the animation on those dog monsters is hilarious eh, eh, eh. we're gonna get you kittens damn the forces of evil are really pulling out all the stops to kill these two children I guess there's some voice acting in Japanese? I thought this was a Chinese game. Well, I don't know. I'm not going to think about it too hard. You can never get into skeletal animation like this. I, yeah, it, it never looks that great. I did it a little bit in college because it was easy. But yeah, it's not great. You really have to do a bunch of extra stuff. Okay, so I'm actually going to cut out the next 15 minutes of footage. Effectively, the main character wakes up at the cabin, passes out, wakes back up there like a couple of times. And it's like 15 minutes of largely nothing. The bird names itself Karen and apparently reads books. And the main character tries to run away a bunch. There. Saved us all 15 minutes. Let's actually get to the, actually get to the good stuff. There we go. Like, we're just going to pass out in the wilderness and wake back up in the cabin again, I think. And so... The next day, and the following day, they walked. They as in the boy or both of them, to the same endless landscape, seeing no one. Eight years passed. They're still walking. Hey, wake up. This is huge. Did this absolute... I, oh, oh, what is it? What's the character? Forrest Gump. Our character is literally Forrest Gump. We just went running for eight years in a direction. What's up? Were you dreaming about the past? We've been traveling together for eight years now. At first, I had no intention of dragging, uh, tagging along, but I couldn't sit still and watch a young, uh, watch you die a dog's death. It's not that I was lonely, or anything like that. That's besides the point. I finally found it. I found a sign. Eight years just going in a direction. That's right. Who else but a human would make a sign? It's the first trace of humans we've seen. In eight years. How is this character not mad? And the sign appears to have some kind of name on it. Maybe it's a settlement full of people. Come on, get ready, let's go. Okay, so I can now move. Okay, action, levers, crystals. Do you want to save? Yes, thank you. The game crashed uh, before I could save and made me do that again, I would cry. Oh, I actually cannot go swimming. Water is no good. Well, the music's good. Wait a minute. There's something over there. I can't believe it. Hey, are those demons? There's no doubt about it. They're just like in the book. This isn't good. I like the character's, like, ridiculously hyper-long headband. We've never seen these before. I'd forgot they even existed. The book said the demons live near human settlements. Maybe there's some humans nearby. What shall we do? I don't have the power to fight. Hang on for a second. 
comes back with a sword. Comes back with a gun. Yeah, this makes more sense. Use this. It's a weapon. I'll have to turn the music down. It's pretty loud. It's the hardest looking stick around. Look, you... You've not, uh, not really got a better option. You can do it. I'm sure you can. Okay. Holy shit, this music goes, like, actually too hard. I... It's really good? Operating instructions. Okay. X, continuous attack. Cool. Wait, I didn't equip, I didn't equip my weapon. <laughs> okay. So it looks like it could even do like a dash forward to get over to it. Wait, did the bird do a finishing hit? Well, fancy that. I never thought you'd be able to fight so well. I honestly didn't think you could. Must be down to my wooden stick. Well, it's all good, right? Anyway, let's keep going. Anyway, let's... Oh, we finally found a trace of humanity. No, oh, my weird green thing. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Okay, you can set Karen's magical abilities on the Karen screen. Dash, which is already available, allows you to reach places you couldn't with a normal jump. No. Okay, magic. Oh, no, Karen. Okay. See any remaining phys or remaining enemy physical HP. Oh, I see. Dash is B. That kind of dash. That hurt. Oh, and I get to huh? I actually get to change my stats. So striking power, defense, magic power, possession and remote attacks are more powerful, speed, agility, attack speed, bash range, combos improved, uh, luck increased, coins, experience rates, and some other stuff. And then adaptability, dive duration, underwater attacks. What? Uh... All in on luck. I mean, for now I should probably just do I should probably just do all in on attack. Embrace the Hobbit, all luck. Okay, fine. All luck. Hey, there are berries on the ground. Goji berries. They're goji berries. They don't taste great, but they're rich in nutrients. You should eat them when you've exhausted yourself. I would if Shell hadn't eaten all of them. You can use item shortcuts for immediate use. Select item, hold down, and press A. Okay, cool. There we go. Hitting targets in the air with projectiles like arrows will cause treasure chests to appear. Okay, but do I have? Do I have projectiles? And Karen does not. Item? Oh. I have an air. Wait, what? There's combo attacks. That was the most arrow ever. <laughs> Esoteric Scroll of the Sky Sword. Mastered Esoteric Sky Sword. Uh, tutorial went too fast. Throw the weapon to distract enemies continuously. For some time to reuse. Wait, how? How do I do that? Okay, press attack button for a while and then release. I see. That's it. That's the sign I... Whoop. 
See? Isn't it awesome? It's the first artifact we've found in eight years. It's all thanks to me, right? The piece of wood is so rotten it can be mistaken for a dead branch. It has a faint has faint letter-like marks on it. Scale cave this way. It doesn't matter if it's a little faded. It says this way, so we should follow the path, right? Besides, going back is out of the question. Let's go! To enter a door or a side street, stop, press A. Cool, but do I have map? Not yet. It also does not look like I can get back there, so I guess I have no choice. Oh, hello, edgy man. H human! Whoa! Oh, I thought you were a monster. Don't spook me. Huh? Is there something on my face? You look like you've seen a ghost. You might as well be a ghost. A talking crow? I'm not a crow. My name's Karen. You can speak what's going on. Are you a ghost? I'm not a ghost either, no. It's us who should be surprised, not you. We finally found a human. What are you saying? A human is rarer than a talking ghost crow? What the hell? Hmm. What's the use of standing around talking? Sun's about to set. Let's discuss this around the fire so we can be keep warm, yeah? It's not like I'm in a rush to do anything else. Come on. But let me just tell you, ghost, that this area is rumored to be haunted. Red Harry's important. Spot the main character! Oh wait, no, the blonde character is the main character. Shoot! Eight years. Gee whiz, you both got incredible guts. I don't know know about that sign, but there's nothing around here. Damn. Well, it's enough to have found a human. We're starting to forget our objective. Search of a home, but you don't even know the name of the area, let alone the name of the village, right? There are hardly any villages that haven't been attacked by demons. You won't find it with such little info. Well, maybe you'll remember, doing, uh, remember something useful when you're doing something else. I've got a great idea. Might be able to help out. It's quite a ways from here, but I'm on my way, way back to a city, to the city now. It's a huge town with a castle. You don't know anywhere like that, do you? Taverns in big towns naturally attract all kinds of information. Not just information, it can earn money if you help out with odd jobs. Maybe they can, they'll help you in your search, too. It's gotta be better than looking in the dark by yourself. The tavern's been good to me, too. I've been asked to study the distribution of demons, and that's how I ended up here. Thanks to your story, I didn't have to enter the frontier. So, I'll introduce you to the tavern in town. That sounds great. For the first time, I'm glad it was you we found. Gee, thanks. My name's Gao. Anyway, I'll take you to town tomorrow. A pretty girl like you will be more than welcome. You're a guy? He's a man. Doesn't he look like one? I did think you were quite muscular, but... Well, you're still going to be popular. You don't often find guys with such a pretty face. That's weird. That's good. What about me? I might be a woman. Doesn't matter if a crow's a male or a female, does it? Anyway, we'll have a long walk ahead tomorrow. Let's just get some sleep. The whole eight, year, eight years after studying an intermediate amount of time seems a little excessive. Yeah, I think walking for a year would have been fine. If I could be reborn, what would you like to be? Or if you could be reborn. Me? I think I'd like to be a bird. Yep. Girl turned into a bird. I could go all kinds of places if I could fly. You want to be a girl? You're strange. Huh. My name... Annulus means black bird, so they say. Wow, that's on the nose. Black birds bring bad luck. But I like my name. Even a black bird can fly freely. I'll take away everyone's bad luck. And leave it somewhere else. I could do that. Uh, if I could do that, everyone would be happy. So what if the girl was a bird all along? Right from the start. Before the demons arrived, she was always a bird. Her main character is just deranged. Hey, wake up. Something's wrong. Gao robbed us of, like, nothing because we're poor. Can't find that guy Gao anywhere. He was a ghost. Thought maybe he'd gone somewhere to do his business, but there's no sign of a bonfire. We had a bonfire last night, didn't we? It's as if we were the only ones here. 
Oh. Have we been bewitched? Was he not human after all? Anyway, we'll have to go on. We should collect, uh, collect our wits and go. Well, all right. We have this. Might work. But what do we have over here? All right, I have dash. Can I go this way? I can. Oh. Hey, we're in a village. The sign was right. Look, there are so many people. That Gao guy said there was nothing here. I guess he tricked us for some reason. Yeah, they might be tripping through time. I'm just thinking, let's try not to talk in public if possible. I don't get anywhere fast if everyone gets surprised every time I speak. Besides, it's insurance in case something happens to you. It's more convenient to let them think I'm just a bird. Alright, let's have a look around. Sign says, welcome to Pekachira, home of the Cave of Libra. Can we go back? Oh sweet, they're enemies. Sick. And then I wouldn't have to grind for like multiple minutes because I don't know, grinding in certain JRPGs is fun, especially when you need to allocate your stats and become busted through it. Unfortunately, uh, I made the critical error of not saving before this. Turns out you go back to the last time you saved and that could be a little while. Oops. And then I died again. We're gonna skip past that. Wow, well, wait, that's just a photograph. All right, fine, restart from last save. Let's just, <sighs> hi. Oh, -ho! you believe the legend of the scales too? I've lived here since I was born and no one's ever found them. What? Hello, are you looking for the scales? No. Is that so? I thought only those who believed in the legend of the scales would come here. What, the legend of the scales? I'm not sure how the legend started. They say that Astraea's scales are enshrined in a cave just beyond the village. The legend is the scales control the power of destiny, but no one has ever seen it. So how does anyone know about it? Do you believe the stories? Yes, that's right. I think so too, but everyone who visits the village is after the legend. There's another legend. It says there's an herb that grows on the scales that can cure any disease. My father, he went to the cave of Libra saying he'd cure my sister's illness. That was over a week ago. He's missing. The cave is a dangerous place. I'm sure the legend is just a hoax made up to promote the village, and yet my father believed it. Huh? If you're gonna find my father? No, it's too dangerous. I can't ask a stranger to do that. Thank you. You're the first person who's ever said that to me. What did I say? Um... Please let me give you this. Wooden buckler. Oh, that's useful. This shield belonged to my father. You'll go even if I stop you, right? Please. At least take it with you. Sweet. Press down and then down X to do a shield bash. She's asleep, but appears to be in great pain. What? We, we level up? Or... Oh! This lets me respec. So I'm actually going to invest in speed, maybe. You're quite the softy, aren't you? You have no idea how dangerous that cave is. Shouldn't you be looking for your hometown? Still, if you want to go, I won't object. I always have, and I always will follow you. Okay. So what does this man sell? Welcome! Bye. Okay, club. Stone dagger. Bone sword. Uh, let's see. So attack power is 50, range is eh, handling, and then there's weight, and then there's the rock hammer, which has hella range, but I need 40 gold to actually get it. Well, now that we know we have this, and we have the shield, oh, but I also maybe need some resources too. It's simple information about materials you're after, I can give it, but will you listen? Yes. Okay, we need coins and materials. Uh, an ore. You can uh, collect ore by digging at mines with a mine. Pickaxes are sold in tool, tool shops. They wear out, so it's best to have lots of them. Good to know. Let's see if I can go buy a pickaxe. Okay. They're out of torches. Huh? Young man, you want to go, go into the cave as well? Hmm. Then we'll need a torch. Okay, need torch out of materials. 
So you'll find the materials. They're not something you can easily find. Okay. So need a wood suitable for holding and pine resin. Okay. I don't... There we go. Okay, wooden pickaxe. Perfect. I can buy exactly one. So we also have copper chest keys, reset potions, and then rings, which gives us agility, attack power, or some other things. So I'm going to need just like a boatload of just random stuff. And then he's also got a secret treasure chest back here. I'm totally going to rob this guy. Five copper chest key. Oh, sick. How do I get back in? Um, oh. Oh, I see. I have hopped on top of the, uh, the shed. Okay, and then that's the tavern. Actually, let's check. There might be quests here. You new here? If you're going deep in the cave. You better be well prepared. Cool. Oh, dude just gave me some pickaxes. Sick. I've lost. I've been clobbered. I'm known as the handsome swordsman around here. That face, who are you? Seeing as you defeated me, what? I don't mind letting you in on some tips. Oh, I see. We're more handsome than he is. Have you seen the target marks by the side of the road? If you hit him with arrows, okay, we know about that. Welcome. Oh, it's you. You're a real eye-opener. Well, take your time. What is it? You're looking for a bundle of wood and pine resin? Let me see. If you spend the night with me, I'd be happy to tell you. I don't do it. No one has ever gone out with Big Sis and made it out alive. I'm go smearing my good name, Abel. I'm not trying to eat him. It's the same thing, isn't it? I won't stop you if you don't mind wandering the spirit world with a hangover. Maybe he's a, he's a surprisingly good drinker. He's quite the looker too, right? This is weird. Throw the materials you're looking for. You're trying to make a torch? Save some money by making them myself. But if, if it's a bundle of wood you're looking for, there's some on the ground just as you enter the cave. Yeah, I also use that bundle of wood. It's perfect for making torches, but pine resin is expensive. Doubt anyone has any spare. There's a story about Wolf who went missing in the cave. What is it all of a sudden? You see, I heard he used to be an engraver. Pine resin is used to fix metal plates in place. It's essential for engraving. His daughter still lives in the village entrance. She might give you some if you ask her. I see. Didn't know that. I'll ask next time. Yep, information that always gravitates to a tavern. I've told them everything. You guys are too nice for your own good. Dear me. I'm not gonna let him have you all to himself. What are you on about? It? You've spent the night with me. Oh, you've all spent the night with me at least once. I don't want any more casualties. Besides, I don't want to see this nice guy puking. Agreed. Good God, you talk about me as if I'm some sort of demon or something. For these idiots' sake, I'll give you this information for free. However, Next time I give you information, you'll have to spend two nights with me. Be prepared. What? Seriously, he'll die if he spends two nights with you. What? What? Well, okay, let's go talk to the engraver girl. But honestly, I want to go hit stuff until I'm not killable. Wolf, haven't I told you? That's my father's name. Pine resin, my father used to be an engraver. I'm sure he used a lot of it. Sorry, I'm not sure where he kept it. Oh, but father told me that he used to work by a spring near the frontier when he was an engraver. Perhaps it's still there. Okay, cool. So now we go back the other direction. And I'm going to save again because if I goof, I'm going to have to go through all of that dialogue. And that's going to be hell. Alright. Wait a minute. We don't know how many dangerous demons we're likely to find. We should prioritize getting our equipment ready. I'd rather not get killed. Buy our equipment in the village shop and proceed with caution while gaining EXP in battle. Got it? Okay. Know about that? Cool. Now I am far more prepared this time around. And yeah, I think I might want to just invest really hard into attack speed. Because I wonder if I can just wombo combo slimes into oblivion. I also might want to try buying that giant hammer. I wonder if I could have a high enough attack speed with the hammer to just stun lock things at very long range. Because it does feel like I'm I'm much faster at attacking even with just just that little bit of agility.
Okay. We want resources. Well, some poor bird had an egg up there. Yeah, my faster attack speed seems to be making it so the slimes aren't getting through and can't hit my hitbox. Most of the time. We got butter. Okay. More agility. Must be faster. Chest, we got a key mold. Hey. Interesting. I already have 16 coins. We're looking for lumber, though. Is that a... Nope. Unless I can get it from this pile. Nope. That was the most... Uh, certainly the most interesting tavern info dump I can think of. It was definitely charming. Like, it's weird. Like I was saying, I, I think they're trying really hard to be... Oh. Item pickaxe. Oh, we got a bunch of stones. Cool. Cost me the pickaxe, but whatever. It's certainly an ambitious product. I don't know if it's like... I don't know if it is as good as some of the reviews are saying it is. But, like, you definitely can feel like the developers went all in on this one. It's disappointing the trees don't give you materials and instead just disappear into the spirit realm. Okay. Mining point. Give me more resources. Anything other than rock? Eh, kind of. Like, I definitely do get some materials from them, but no wood. But maybe I'm supposed to get the wood specifically from the, uh, from the cave and I can't get anywhere else. At least we know where to get the resin from. Okay, now the plants were hella stinky, so I'm a little worried about this. I don't have much for range. I do have a decent amount of money. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to get more gear. Okay. Holy smokes, these things have a lot of HP. Well, there's the wood. Or at least the wooden log that I need. Okay, disregard. Oh my god. Okay, don't worry about it. Item. Uh, goji berry. Use. Perfect. My logic is if I approach from this side, I'm like a thousand times safer. But first, I'm going to fight these things on the other side of this bush. Another key mold. I don't know what the molds are going to be useful for, but I got them. Okay, we level up again. I'm just going to... I'm probably going to stop it there, maybe. Not quite throwing, kn throwing knives. Yeah, I am assuredly attacking so much faster as a result of this. Copper chest key. Like, we're just murking these things at this point now. Let's see. I should have enough resources for the goji berries. Or to buy more goji berries if I want to. Oh yeah, 81 coins. Uh, 
Yeah, I don't see where the plants are, so I kind of have to just guesstimate. Okay, there it is. Luckily, I can just beat them to death before they ever show up. Or, you know, attack. Okay, got a refining kit. What the hell stuff am I getting here? There we go. Okay, so more wooden logs. Go back into items. Uh, I have three goji berries left. Interesting. Tools for refining ore into ingots can increase a material's value. A rare item. Cool. The tree had butter. Yeah, I'm not... I'm actively not thinking about these things. Oh. Guess I didn't need to use the goji berry after all. Hang on a minute. By the way, you've been picking up the colored grains enemies have been dropping, right? I read in a book that if humans eat those grains, it'll boost their physical strength. We don't know what kind of powerful demons we might meet here. I think it's worth cry trying, don't you? Time to eat demon drugs! Well, it's probably normal to think twice about ingesting something that came out of a demon. When an enemy is defeated, it its attributing force appears as a grain. You can use force to develop your abilities in the grow screen. The grow page has been added to the Book of Karen. Grow! Oi. Oh. Huh. Okay. Well, we don't have any red. That's adaptability. Unfortunately, it seems to just be mostly stat gain. But that's okay. Because I just gained a shit ton of stats. No magic. Is there a way I can, like, zoom out? Because, like, select force type to be converted. Oh, I see. Nope, don't quite know. Doesn't really matter. <laughs> Sphere grid. No, we got a square grid. Yeah, it seems like almost all of these are stat ups. Oh, but this one has a skill on the right. Okay, so there are actually skills that we can snag. Hey, thank you Weasel of Dune for the 44 month resub. How's it going? Uh, good actually. This game had a bit of a slow start, but now that we're getting into it, I'm, I'm actually super into it. it. Must be the lake, nearest the frontier. I don't smell any pine resin around here though. Huh, it's obscured by trees. A bit hard to see, but is that something like a building beyond the lake there? Must be over there. Well, we'll have to cross the lake, but I think it'll be worth it. You're telling me to go and have a look? How heartless of you. There's demons around here, you know. I can't fight them. We're supposed to be inseparable. I refuse to go look on my own. Don't tell me you're afraid to go underwater. Just lift your head out of the water and breathe and you'll be fine. Yeah, you'll be A-OK. -okay. So I can somehow breathe underwater as I'm surrounded by bubbles. It's another one of my mysteries, I guess. After all, I'm not just a bird, and much less a crow. Ha ha. Jerk bird. When you duck your head underwater, the breathing gauge appears. You'll sustain damage if it reaches zero. We. Holy shit, this character has like... No maximum HP. Magic crystals. Oh my gosh. Not only do you take damage, you take a lot of damage for drowning. Do we have a boss fight? Oh, this is bad. This is a barrier that demons create to keep their prey from escaping. Watch out, it's going to attack from somewhere. Watch it. What the heck? Just for a moment, I felt like I was you. Possession. Is that what that was? Did the heavens hear my joke about us being inseparable? Another mystery of mine. But it's a useful ability. It, uh, if it's a useful ability, it's welcome. It seems the demons are only just beginning to reveal their presence. I'm gonna use this power to fight them. Okay. Up while holding Y and release Y to activate possession skills. It's dependent on magic power and very powerful, but it requires ST to activate. ST is increased by damaging enemies with normal attack. Cripes. Is 
Okay. Send that off. Burn him. I don't know how much it costs. It costs a fair bit. But it looks like it can kind of do it semi-endlessly. So that's, I guess, going to be what I do. Phew, we managed to get rid of it. If that bar barrier appears again, we'll have to kill more demons. But they're gone for now. Let's take a look at that hut. Okay, so now we have possession skills. Advanced skills can also be activated on the screen. Possession skills have been added to the Book of Karen. Cool. This tin contains pine resin. It's full. All that hard work to get here was worth it. No one seems to be using it, so let's take it. 18 liter container of pine resin. That's weirdly specific, but whatever. Okay, so I'm here to buy. Can I buy the rock hammer? Nope. Can I buy the bone sword? Nope. Can I buy the stone dagger? Yes. Do I want the stone dagger? Yeah, maybe. I mean, I might as well buy all of them. I got the resources for at least a decent chunk. Okay. I don't know if I care for the leather shield. Oh. Yeah, I might as well. Okay, so let's equip. Shield. Wooden buckler. Leather shield. Leather armor. And we have no accessories. Skill. Oh! Okay, so we have down or left. Or down and then right. Is Heavenly Mountain. Good against air units. Interesting. Okay, so I wanted to go left here, but I can't. Well, that's fine. Whoops. Oops. That's the respecking crystal. Oh, right. Bundle of wood. I was going to buy that. He also has these, but I don't think I can... I guess I could do a pair of wooden rings. Which is not the worst idea in the world. Let's see. I've got plenty of chest keys. We don't have all... Yeah. Used with a bow, so we we need a bow. Ooh, do from the world tree. Teleports you to a safe location. Snag a couple of those. And then, like, an ungodly amount of wooden pickaxes. And goji berries. Be gone, elixir syndrome. I have enough. And if we need more money, I just go hit stuff for a while. Right, I was gonna go in the cave. Pick a cheer drops. Sign says, ahead is the cave of Libra. Caution. Oh yeah, new weapon. Yeah. Bundle of wood. Bundle of wood folks in the bar were talking about. Hmm. There's certainly a good size to hold. It's easier than I thought. I'm gonna take it. Bundle of sticks. Until yesterday, I'd never have imagined a scene with so many people talking. Quite impressed with you for being able to be behave so normally. It helps when you're hot. Got crystals. Okay. But how do I get out of here? Uh? Oh, I see. Is down here. I see. Just the chest. Oh dang, this game is dark. Uh, only that area. Oh no, that's the old man. We... Oh! The look on your face means you've got all the mater materials for a torch. Let me see. Oh, this is awesome. So much precious pine resin. It's really amazing. Alright! Poof, poof, poof! Voila! Three of torch. I'll keep them in the shop, so come back and buy some if you run out. Also, this is a little token of thanks. That's like heir to a toolmaker. You can make other tools from that. Don't ever give it away or show it to anyone. I'm giving it to you because you're my brother. What? Okay. You can synthesize items using a recipe. 
Select a recipe and use on... Oh, uh, okay. The recipe will show you the items you already have obtained, so you can also disassemble items via the item screen. Interesting. So... If I did this, synthesize. Item to be combined with this item. Okay, that's not quite as useful. Camping set. And let's just use this. I see. So we can do flour plus eggs, bread plus eggs. So it's a lot of cooking. Berries plus vials. Oh, it shows you the incomplete ones. Interesting. So those eyes can be used with wood to make torches as well. Okay. So we wanted to buy... Oh, torches at the top. Nine of torch. There we go. Yeah, so I guess it... I, I guess I have mastered the club. So I'll try the dagger after all then. Oh, right. Items... Uh, torch, torch, torch. There it is. Shortcut panels. There we go. So now we just have light following us. Sure, why not? There's more than a whiff of demon ahead. You have enough light and recovery items, don't you? The aim is to find what's happened to the girl's father. Whether he's alive or dead, right? Don't even think about finding those herbs. No one's managed it so far. There must be some great obstacle. Okay, that worked. And I think we've mastered the dagger. Oh no, we've mastered the leather shield. Oh, you break the ca what? You break the candles? I was kind of assuming we'd light them, but I was wrong. back. Okay. So what? We've got some magic. I... Okay. Well, we've mastered some things. Uh, so what do we have? Coin magnet. Oh, master armor. Collect coins automatically. Well, it looks like I have a lot more slots. Um... And then Master Weapon. Increase the damage on enemies with the Wind Attribute. Interesting. Well, we can also turn on Third Eye. So we've mastered these. I'm going to go back to the stick then. Yeah, so I guess we've learned new things by mastering each and it. What the hell? Okay, so you know that the ch junky stuff that's... Uh, like, all of the old equipment? We need to go back for all of it. What the hell? Oh my god, this is wild. Like... Like the music, this game goes unusually hard, and it's... It's nonsense? Like, the amount of progression mechanics being presented here is nothing short of actually pretty impressive. Oh, there's the bat wings and a bunch of stuff. Uh, so if I check equipment, how's the sticks EXP? Very slow. There we go, skill level up. 
I yeah, it looks like you can chain all sorts of attacks into each other. For even more ridiculous nonsense. Okay, we get another one of these. Got some more wooden pickaxes. I don't think that really hit it, but that's fine. Oh, I can actually get in here. Okay, we've learned Aegis. And we can get this open. Light's about to go out. We get hemostatic. That's fine. Oh, interesting. Didn't like it. Light has gone out. Light another torch. So you're telling me that mastering the stick may... Uh... May give a nuclear strike skill? Maybe, but good lord, that's glacial. Uh, it does 30 damage compared to the 55. You know, actually, that's not too bad. I'll have to go get uh, some more bad exper uh, equipment. Okay, so. I think I want to go this direction. Because whatever this is, door. Door blocks the way, expend a key to unlock. Don't have enough keys to open it. Keys? Skill level. Skill level up. Interesting. We also have treasure. Oh, whoop. I converted the force over. Question mark. Got some more magic crystals. Spin force to master this ability. Three times as much to get the most force. Okay, so it looks like it costs green EXP, but you can actually do a trade. That's interesting. Okay, can I get back up here? No. Wait, I can kind of attack upwards? Do I... apparently so. Do we want more in luck? Oh, it looks like every time you level up you can actually uh, change your stats around a smidge. Uh, let's see, 10 more agility? Yeah, let's do it. Some more luck seems like a good idea. I can attack upwards? But only if there's an enemy in the area. Okay. I... Man, I'm just going to be reacting with mild bewilderment constantly to this game. Okay, there he goes. Go back to the goji berries because, ouch. Damn. Look at all those resources up there. I don't think I'm going to be able to get because I'm too low. Well, it's fine. I guess we can get the coins. But yeah, the EXP is dead to me. Huh? A dead end? Well, this seems dangerous. Hey, someone's blocked blocked the exit. This is terrible. The room's a trap. It's called the suspended ceiling. I saw it in a book. We gotta get out of here before the ceiling collapses. I don't know how I'm supposed to get out of this normally. I 
I mean, fine, I guess. Hey, over here. Hurry up. Are you all right? You're lucky. I happen to be digging at that wall. These caves are full of dead ends, aren't they? If you don't make a path, you won't find anything new. Anyway, I'm glad I could help. This old man, he's not that girl's father, is he? Oh, what's the matter? Do you recognize my face? Yeah, my name's Wolf. But have we met before? You came looking for me because my daughter was worried about me. You came all the way to this dangerous cave for that? You have a lot of courage, young man. I thank you on behalf of my daughter, but I can't go home yet. I found a big door ahead that I can't budge. According to my maps, the scales are just beyond it. The herbs will cure my daughter are s that will cure my daughter are so close, I can't leave until I get some. What? You're going to help me? You, come on. You're not in love with my daughter, are you? No? Oh, it's sad to hear you deny it so clearly. Well, fine. I don't see any reason to refuse your offer. This is a suspicious device up ahead. Might be the key to opening the door. Can you find a way to make it work? I'll see what the maps say, and check the door itself. I'll be in front of that door, so if there's anything you want to ask me, give me a shout. Can I go back? Because this is clearly plot progress. How nice are you, really? If you keep sticking your nose into people's affairs, you'll never find your home. Oh, it doesn't matter to me. I aim to follow you and see the world with my own eyes. I feel I'll find my true identity. And worth that way. Check. Oh, shit. Oh! oh. Okay. I wasn't expecting so many bats. Well, we get a refining kit. At least that works. Alas, I have no more silver keys. And probably won't get any more for a while. Okay. Boy, I'm glad I bought all those, uh, all those extra berries. Let's eat again. Because Skelemen hurt. There he goes. Got another key mold. Now it looks like there's supposed to be something up there. Light has gone out, unsurprisingly. Yeah, it looks like there's supposed to be something, but I guess I can't get to it. Well, there's a save crystal at the very least. Blue orb shines dimly on a pedestal. Would you like to take the orb? Yes. Or a blue orb. I think we might still want to go back, though. There we go. Ooh, I am weak. I mean, it does not help that this stick is very bad. It is gaining EXP. Incredibly slowly. Yeah, at this point I probably should have just ditched the stick, but it's not like I really had that many better weapons at this moment. Anyway, so it took me a long time to get out of this cave grab everything, and of course, being me, I grinded for a lot of levels, trying to get as much power as I possibly could. You know, the usual. Also get a lot of money so I can buy a ton of healing items, 
Because I don't have enough. I mean, not like, okay, 35. No, I can, I can do this some more. Uh, oh boy, I'm weak. I forgot how bad I was at this moment. Anyway, I'm going to skip ahead pretty tremendously to uh, level 10 and the end of this dungeon. There was a puzzle involving swapping orbs and putting one in some water to turn it from red to blue. And so we're just going to insert the, uh, the blue orb and then go fight the boss. And then uh, call it, because I really want to show you guys a little bit more of this game before we close out. Okay, right. That's what I was going to do. Item. There's a sound of rocks sliding nearby. Question, do I have enough bones? I have one bone. So, even though I could progress a little bit... Oh. Huh? Where did the old man go? Did he go on ahead? No, but feel the presence of a tremendously strong demon ahead. Wait, maybe it's not a demon. Anyway, it's an immense force. We've never felt anything like it. If we're going in, we need to prepare ourselves. Cool. I'm going to go fight skeletons for a little while. Okay, item. Can I get another silver key? Looks like it. Okay, eye medicine. Probably not as good as I would have liked it to be, but whatever. Delete bats. Wreck the plants. That I guess I've just always killed automatically here. Absolutely. Oh, those magic shots don't actually, um, don't get me SP. I have to hit them with the actual magic staff. Well, there's the other beautiful bones, and we got a good fortune card. Right. I actually have two of these cards that I should probably use. Okay. So I think we've got everything that we possibly could need from here. I could stick around longer, but honestly, making some progress sounds just about as good. Holy cow, is that? It is not something humans could do by any stretch of the imagination. We've been cut off from our escape route. What do we do? Do you think you can do something? Ow, that hurt a bit. Fine. That's a little spooky. Oh. Fine. Uh, quip. know how to feel about this fight. It's awkward. I mean, it's doable. Okay. Fireballs. And, like, his basic fireballs don't do that much damage. So I can just kind of eat them. I mean, considering how many of these I've got, sure. It is definitely a chonky health bar. Where it doesn't really need to be. Here, won't we, uh, won't we try switching, it, switching to the bone sword? I could try the rock hammer. Okay, so he's gonna do the fire breath again. Thank you. 
Okay, heal up. Yeah, I guess we broke him. Wait, here's a question. Oh, that messed... Did that mess him up? I don't know. I don't know which did more damage to him. At least magic... Uh, we're immune to damage during magic. Okay, let's do it. Ow. Rude. My attacks mildly annoy the dragon. And yeah, no kidding. I... I am feeling that this boss fight might be too long. But I guess... I guess I'm thinking about this from the perspective of, like, a Metroidvania platformer, but if we're talking like RPGs, maybe not? Slowly. I mean, yeah, I've still got a absolute boatload of goji berries. I'm curious what would happen if I actually got to the other side of him. But I don't know if I can. Yeah, I'd, I wonder if that magic sort of, uh... wonder if that magic sword would have been handy. I'm also really curious what would happen if I had invested really hard into defense. If I could have just completely invalidated this thing. Because that could have been really funny. It already is pretty weak. Okay. There it goes. Eat the berry. Go back. It's a cool looking dragon though. Like credit where credit is due. And the music is like banger good. Eat, go back. Boy, if I ever get a weapon or a spell that heals me, I'm going to be unstoppable. There it goes, burst armor. You've beaten it, right? Are you really human? Well, I guess half the success was probably down to my powers. Nah, two thirds, I'm sure. Anyway, let's move on. I can't see that old man, but... Nothing on the other side. Ahead there stands a bleached white skeleton of a warrior dead for many decades. In its hand, the skeleton clutches what appears to be its dying message. But anyone reach this place and read this letter, please hear my last wish. I did not come here to find the scales, I came here to collect the herb that grows around them. I was able to obtain the herb after much hardship, but I was seriously wounded by the guardian beast. I'm about to pass through the gates to the netherworld. Please, give this herb to my daughter in the village of... The last part is blurred by blood and ineligible. The author's name is only just legible. May God have mercy on my two beloved daughters, Arya and Maria. Wolf. In his other hand, he's clutching, ta clutching tattered and withered herbs. Yeah, it's definitely time travel.
Two scale pans. You can now select Libra from the main me uh, from the menu. You can place items on the scales to gain abilities. What? The effectiveness is related to the balancing of the scales. The more scales are balanced, the stronger the effect. A page page on Libra has been added to the Book of Terran. What? Well, are we gonna grab the herbs? Okay, I guess not. All right, and with that, I think this is a pretty good stopping point. Uh, I've played a little bit more of this on my own, and I can say for certain that while this is the kind of game that I would love to do some kind of series on, it's also like 80 hours long, and there's just no way I can do that. Uh, honestly, a couple of videos a day is taxing my voice as it is, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to get back to my old output probably ever, at least not in my current environment, but that doesn't really matter because ultimately I think this game is absolutely fantastic, and if... You guys like really weird niche JRPG style games that are very clearly made by one person who is inspired to make this kind of product. Check it out, it's really good. I'm trying to think of other good examples and like, I'm coming up with some blanks. Like I'm gonna throw it in the same vein as, oh geez, I don't even know. Um, Dungeon Munchies, kind of, sort of. Obviously they're kind of different in a lot of ways, but they remind me of each other just in terms of like kind of ridiculous over the plot top uh over the top plots and then like really kind of grind festy combat with a lot of progression if you want to go that far and i kind of do unlocking all the weapons in this game is a lot of fun and then getting all of the abilities tied into them oh it's so good the amount of customization potential here is great it's still a lot of just statistics upgrades but honestly it kind of reminds me of final fantasy 10 in a really good way Anyway, so Ask Libra Revision is available on Steam. It's been out for a couple of weeks now and is, I want to say it's like a 15, 20 buck game. Uh, 25, eh, eh, I don't know. I think it's great all the same. It's definitely not for everybody, but if you're looking for something weird to, to really sink your teeth into, I'd recommend this one. But with all that said, if you guys like this video in any way, shape or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new indie games every single day, then hit subscribe because I've got tons of them to check out. But for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.